Put your headphones on. Yay! Zelda time. <clears throat> what this one look? The last time I played this game was 2014. Or was this you? I think this was you. No, this was me. Alright. Are you sure it was you? Yeah, I don't think you got to the second dungeon. Or beat it anyway. We'll go here, but instead of, well, wait, okay, no, there's no mail. Now I want to get the two islands that are on the way there as well as just going, no, wait, no, that's not where we need to go. We need to go the south. Never mind, we're not going to do that. We're going to go south. All right, yeah, right there. Oh look, a treasure. I wasn't expecting that. I passed it up, I think. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. This one's gonna be good, because it's got the pillar of light. Da -da -da -da. 200 rupees, I told you. Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I tell you what happened when I told you? Exactly what just happened. So yeah, you, <laughs> you can freeze the volcano and get inside a little bit. You have five minutes to get in and out before your flesh is burnt off your bones. Um... I am on the wrong side of the island. Hello. Oh wait, I need something from you. Come here. There we go. Alright. Get out of my face. No, get up. Go ahead. Go on. Go throw up. Oh my goodness. Which way is the wind blowing? I might be able to just kind of... Oh, that was close. I let go too soon, but luckily I caught the edge. Get around the corner. They're not even bothering me, so I'm not gonna waste my time on them. That's not what I meant to do. I don't remember if bombs actually work, but I'm gonna try one here anyway. Oops, never mind. Dumb. I always do that way too early because I think it's gonna appear right as soon as they open their mouths. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Yep.
You got the power bracelets. Both arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects. Like this big sexy face right here. Hey, you're back. Can I? Uh, okay. I wanna. I wanna see if I can get another thing from him, since he respawned. If he can come down here. Hey. Cool. Thanks. Alright, uh, let's see. I don't think I found the other island. Let's see. No. I think it was here. So, let's see where we can fly. go here and then I think if we go to the east we should be able to find out where we need to go let's see which way is east to the right That's a new island right there. Whoa. So let's get this. Dane. Good boy, Sammy. What is that island? Oh. Hey, that's where we need to go. Okay. Why are you running? Why are you running? Alright, well, he's going too fast. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go over here first. Bloop. What time did you say I had to stop? And also, what time do you go work tomorrow? Oh, a small fry. You have heard and you want information? Open up your cheek. Chart. Until when? Ice Ring Island. There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But if you wanted, if you wanted it, if it, it you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go, okay, well he's telling me how to do what I gotta do. But I can, no. See, as soon as I hit the go live button. My reading comprehension just plummets. Alright, that didn't work. I have to go around the front. And then, right there. Yeah, hit the dragon. Okay. Now the hard part is getting inside this island, I believe. Just because ice, as you can see, is not- Oh! I forgot that can happen. Ow, oh, damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Open the chest, please. Treasure chart. Okay. Oops. Let's make sure we open that up. Oh. Okay. 
now. Um, you gotta be careful. Okay, I was gonna say we gotta be careful because I don't want to fall on my face again. But there we go. I gotta find out where I can climb. There we go. Mm, excuse me. Wee. Wee. No, oh my god. That's too close to the edge. I, w I think that's just a regular blue rupee. It kind of looks purple. I'm not sure. I don't even know if purple rupees are a thing, but I don't want to risk not. Like, oh shit. Okay. Gotta get some more speed. Maybe not. What the hell? Come on. There we go. No. Okay. Don't fall off. Oh, what? Why didn't he jump? I'm supposed to jump. I'm running out of time here, man. I guess I will get this rupee. Five. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow. That was lucky. Ah. There we go. Good. Not wasted. Half the time it took. Or half the time it gave me, rather. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's more ice in here. Oh, hello. Um, I don't have any bottles. Wow, okay, can you not? I don't even know where to go. Okay. What is this? Um, okay. I feel like I'm not going to make it out of here. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? That doesn't help. Oh wait, no, I know what to do. I'm dumb. I forget that you can climb. Oh great. He's gonna knock me down again. Okay, well, never mind, he's gone, I guess. <sighs> Just gotta make oh sheet. Just gotta make sure that doesn't happen again, otherwise I'm screwed. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, that was my own fault. I'm gonna have to like leave and come back. Or die. Whichever. Oh. No, damn it. Come on. Can I leave? I can't even leave, so I guess I'll just die. never actually happened to me before. I swear. Okay. 
let's um let's not fuck up that badly this time. Oh my god. Some very interesting noises. Well, we still got about four minutes left, so it was a lot better than last time. That helps. There we go. No problems anymore. Whoa. What the hell? I was like pulling it in the complete opposite direction. Game cheats. Why is he going so far to the side for no reason? Well, I made it. That's all that matters. <sighs> you got the iron boots. These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around when you wear them. Good. Whoa. Is that what is that? Another secret, or a secret, not necessarily another, but I'll take it. Looks like we gotta fight some bitches. Easy. throwing the boomerang because I was using Breath of the Wild controls instead of the proper controls. Uh, okay. Oh, his helmet? Oh, never mind. Ooh. Alright. Okay, that was my fault. Is he dead? Yes. 
And then we get the treasure. I don't know if that's worth it or not. I guess it's kind of okay. Oh. Well. Now, I could progress. But there's now quite a few things we can do with our new arrows plus this new gear. So I want to do some of that first. But what should I do first? Well, first of all, before I go anywhere, let me get this fish. Wait, did I? I think I already did that. No, go to the map. I did, okay. Never mind. There's another island nearby, I believe. Oh, Bomb Island is right there. When did I get that on my map? I want to go there, too. Shark Island. Yeah, I want to go to Shark Island and then Bomb Island. I'll go to, <clears throat> I'll go to Bomb Island first because I could f teleport to a close spot right next to Shark Island. So it'll make things quicker just by going here first. This whole time I thought I hadn't been I hadn't found Shark I or Bomb Island yet, but it's been there for a while now. Hi, Tiami. He's just watching me. Creeping on me. No. I gotta go to the right some more. There it is. Where did this marker come from? This red marker on my desk. Pink, I think? Red or pink? It's one of the small ones. Little tiny baby ones. Okay. This is not the island I thought it was. There's one other island around here somewhere. Well, not here, but, you know, somewhere. That I can want to visit. I could have been there a while ago, ever since we got bombs. But I can't find it. Hey, you want this? Well, let's talk first. Hey, have we met before somewhere? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. Me? I'm but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects, all not of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has always been to someday open my own shop, but plans of a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started, wow. Time certainly flies, or time certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in and day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasure in it. If you happen to have something of the quality that one could put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. If you have something you'd like to trade, could you show it to me, please? Sure. How about this? Hmm? Why, that's... an exotic flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sickle moon flag? Sure. Satisfactory, then my fee will be... Uh, 40 rupees, maybe? Sure. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item, as promised. Hold out both of your hands. 
You got the sickle moon flag. This flag of a bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. If you find a place to put it, and do stuff with your buttons. So by trading your goods for my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. So from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good friend the postman will take it there for me, so it'll probably get there before you do. Just go back to Windfall and check for yourself. Thanks again. You're welcome. Yeah. I heard there's another traveling merchant, not unlike myself, on Greyfish Isle to the west of here. They say that for every person in the world, there are two more who look exactly alike. I wonder what my twins are like. Okay. So I guess that means I found all of the merchants, and I should go back to Windfall and talk to the guy. See what this flag is all about. After I do some other things, of course. Oops. I'm trying to find magic. There's some. Thank you. I'm all out. Ah, oh, okay. What about this? Yeah, I don't know why I thought that would work. Um, what is over there? Whomst knows? I could fly over there from up here. But I'll do that when I come out. Baby boy, what are you doing? What is he doing? I don't know. Nice. Why would you do that? Oh. 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 Okay. Hold on. No. What am I doing? Holy crap. Okay. Damn it. I need you. I don't know. I've lost control of my life. Oh man, what is this? Oh! Okay. Um, I'll be more careful. And I'm pretty sure I need one of these. Don't fall in the lava again. There we go. Cool. No! I hope that doesn't reset things. Did it? No, good. Who designed this place? Damn it. Okay, um, what in the world? Oh, I see. Why do I need that one to be gone? Don't fall, oh, okay. And he's... Oh, it, do it stays pressed, okay, that's good. Damn it. Don't fall down. Okay. Oh, that was close. He almost got me. All right. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Yay! Three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy. <laughs> oh. 
What? Swiggity Spooty? Okay. Let's see here. Where is the fuse? Okay, the wind is blowing in the right direction, so we're good to go. I run out of magic right as soon as I need to. Or... I don't know, not need to, but... You know what I mean. Okay. Okay. My boat was over here, but I guess it moves. What are you looking at? Ho ho! To think that over there, there would be such a container. Where? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been there before. Damn it. I know he's talking about a bottle in the submarine. I just, I know I've gotten the bottle from a submarine. And I know there's one more bottle somewhere in the world. But I'm just going to double check and make sure this isn't one that I've already gone in. This doesn't really look familiar. Oh, wait. Is that a chest right there? Yeah, I've been here. Okay. It shows how good my memory is. I see treasure. Shark Isle. Saves it like two minutes. Oh man, they really don't want me to have this. You sure don't. Better be good then. And it's just a regular one, 50 rupees. Bye bye. quick, so I need my hammer and my boots. And I guess this? This might take some try. What is that? Does this say something? You must activate all four switches on this island and you must achieve them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The Seer, S.W. Pochett. Okay. Um. So what should I do first? This over here? And then just kind of run? Or... Uh oh. Just 
Still down. That's still on. Get on the button, please. Hurry up. Did we do it? Yes, we did, I think. Yes. What's with the air draft? Oh, it's another one of these. This one's actually a little bit intense. Just a little bit. Oh, jeez. Fucking mini blooms. Oh my god. <laughs> I got killed by this dude. Alright. I gotta focus. Oh no, I shouldn't have. Okay. What is happening? Jesus. I don't know why I was expecting hearts to come out of there. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Keep targeting the mini blinds instead of the dark nuts. Which sometimes is okay. Are they dead? Okay. How many enemies are there? I, mean, I said this was intense. I didn't think it would be this much. Oh no. Hold on. I heard that. No. Damn it. Wrong enemy. Holy cow. Alright, that was my fault. I walked right into the lava. I'm trying to target these guys, but every time I do, some other enemy jumps right in front of me. Oh my god. No, put that down. And I rolled right into that. Christ. Wow. I just keep walking right into those. Shit. Fuck me! What is this place? No. Sorry. The wizard robe's gotta go first. Why are you picking things up? There we go. This is bad. Uh... Okay. Shit, I tried to jump out of the way, it didn't work. Alright. This is... Very, very bad. Get away from me. What? How did that not hit him? Okay. These better be the last enemies. That's not fair. 
I'm surprised that killed him. He still had some armor on. Is that it? Please be it. Thank God. That better be a hard piece. Sold for money. All right. Damn it. Good times. Um. No, oh yeah, I remember. Well, no. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Where should we go? Let's see. What do we have to do? We could go... Suppose we can go to Wind... No, wait. Um. Yeah, let's go to Windfall. Windfall is fun. There's a couple things we can do here now. Like this guy. How you doing? Mm, who might you be? Why do I get this strange feeling that we've met before? Ah, oh, it's you. The little boy who promises big promises and then fails to deliver on them. Hm. Too bad you couldn't save my daughter. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear Mila was saved by a group of kind pirates. Bullshit. The pirates had a leader, Tetra, I believe, said her, she said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to that, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is still alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. Well... I mean, to some people, maybe. Let's see what. Oh, no. No, no. Let's see what this guy has to say about this. Let's start talking to her. Hey, you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, that won't do. That won't do at all. Already, I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um. Welcome to you, sir. This way to Windfall Out Windfall's Outdoor Shop. Chalk full of fun and happy products. Okay. Do you work here? Is that what you're telling me? What do I do with this? Do you throw this away? No, no, no. Keep it. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master. Every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hoodie coat, of course. It's none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. You got the magic armor. Use your rubies to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Interesting. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown, while well, excluding the lovely sale you purchased from me earlier, of course. It's a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it whenever, even when you are sailing the open seas, my dear. Please, use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products now that I have anything left to reward you with or anything. Okay. 
It's not like... Oops. No, keep it. Why do you keep trying to throw stuff away? Okay. So you can put those items in these things, but I don't remember how or why. Or, like, why well, I know how, obviously. I don't know why, though. I don't remember if there's really a reason or reward. Yes, yes, it is another fine day. Is it not? Days like this are the best spent shopping. Okay. So it looks like you can have, like, two more items here, but I don't know where to get them. Oh, well. So if that guy doesn't live here anymore, then who is in here? Uh oh, look at you, pimping it out. You there, halt! Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Why are you a dick, dude? What? Whatever do you mean? You don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why, she even returned with a huge load of lovely, glittering, delicious treasure. Thanks to her little incident, we've become filthy rich overnight, and I mean filthy. Why, there isn't a girl in the world who's as good as a child as my Maggie. You may not have been able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in life someday. In the meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed into quite the little beauty. Run along, go spend some time with her. That's weird, okay. Is he trying to pimp out his daughter? Hi. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. But no, no, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress, that sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo, the wonderful moblin from Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, why, Mo? What the hell? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. The post box. Don't you forget. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she desires. I want to read it. Can I read it? Taking out this out here. Okay. I cannot read it. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do earlier. But I forgot. Oh, it's only 20. <laughs> Worthless. Just like me. Ah. I choked. Postbox. I almost forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome. Oh, wait, I could just give this. Good chunk. Poor. This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. You wish to send this now? Yes. Your parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Okay. Hmm. Now what? Oh, I know. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to give him a concussion. Oh, 
Hello. You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner, but we rarely get any favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though, so if the wind blew in the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Looks like a south... Thanks. I don't... I don't know why you did that. It looks like a southwesterly wind is blowing now. You're welcome. Uh, I guess. Those are usually reserved for when things actually happen. Did it work? Wait, which way do I have to blow the wind? Oh, wait, I gotta hit the switch, duh. Where is the switch? I always forget. Power switch? I think it's down here somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. So kind of like the complete opposite direction of the way it's blowing now, I think. No? Okay. I don't know how windmills work, I don't know what's a good way to make them go. There we go. I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. Not letting me switch my arrows. What is this? Wielder of the flaming arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse signal shall return to light the seas at night. Okay, but. It won't let me. Oh, because I don't have any magic. Okay. Okay, obviously. <sighs> Damn it, I knew that would come back to bite me eventually. I forgot magic is necessary for arrows. I don't think there's anywhere for me to cut any grass or anything around here. Damn. Maybe I can buy some magic potions from the potion shop? I'm not sure. Where is the potion shop? I passed it up. No, I didn't. It's right here, yeah? Yes. Please sell magic potions. That's a health potion. You don't sell magic, do you? I do know what chew jelly is, actually. Okay. Um. Yeah, he doesn't sell magic potions, so. Screwed. Hmm. 
Wait. Uh, okay, this will replenish my magic. It's not really the best idea for me to drink this right now, but it works for what I need it to do, and that's all I can ask for. Let me not... Oops. Um, accidentally use it. Oh, I see a thing there. There's a treasure. Chart treasure. Let's see. How come he didn't get a concussion that time? Strange. That was close. Oh. How am I supposed to shoot it in there if it's facing away? Um, does it, oh, at night, duh, obviously. Wait, wait. Damn it, hold on, I had it, but my, th my thumb slipped. There we go. See? It's moving. What do you mean I'm lying? My thumb slipped. Oh, fudge noodles. What in the what? <laughs> Interesting. Hi, what are you gonna say now? Fine night, isn't it? Well, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. It just pushed me away without even touching me. Did you see that? Also, this is a very dangerous way to board a ride. Got it. Yay. Where was that? Okay. That is way too far for me to try to fly to, so I won't. Instead, I'll just climb on buildings. I think I need, no, do I need the boat? I don't think so. I actually don't think the boat will be able to get me up there. I'd have to fly. What is this? Treasure. Yay! That's the fourth piece, completing another heart container. And I've started my second row. Awesome. A 
Now, since it's nighttime, there's one other thing we can do. And I can see it right there. Hi. Shush. Take off. Go away. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly how to do this. Do I hide in the bush? Okay, she's supposed to start going somewhere. But she's not going to do it while I'm nearby, and I don't know how far away I have to be. Or if maybe she's trying to go this way. Oh, there we go. I just had to walk. Oh. Who's there? I didn't even move. How is this my fault that I got caught? Oh, shit. See? Okay. That means I fucked it up and I have to come back the next night. But I literally didn't even move. So I don't know how that's my fault. I'm not supposed to get too close to her, otherwise she'll see me. Shh. Take off, go away. my distance. Go slow. Be sneaky. Hang on. I'm noticing something right now. But I don't want to try to point it out because of I need to stay focused on this girl. Where did she go? Oh shit. <laughs> Crawling around isn't even necessary, but it's fun. Where'd she go? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Hi. Damn it. That was my fault. I guess. Cause she's a nerd. Take off, go away. I knew you were gonna do that one. Thank you. 
Oh shit, fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if she if you get too close to her, but she's not able to see you because of a wall or something, he makes a weird cat noise to throw her off. Making her move. Hi. You startled me. What, what do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are, anyway? <laughs> I'm a night creeping rascal. That's not funny, you know. I can't believe you try to make a joke out of this. You're an awful boy. Just who do you think you are, anyway? Oh, she just keeps asking you until you say, An ally of justice. A what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please, let me go. It was just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does that mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Uh, I was once, once the richest little debutante in this town, did you know that? But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day from morning till night, I'm busy working for the open-air shop... So as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiable life? I'm not, I don't want to be a dick. And to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible, grr. Do you understand my plight? Sure. And you'll let me go? No. But why not? You awful boy. I was honest with you too, and now I'm just angry. Goodbye. Oh, I fucked it up, didn't I? Shit. Damn it. I have to do that all over again. <laughs> this is why you don't choose the wrong dialogue options. I'm sorry. You can't just walk into someone's stall like that. No, indeed. It just isn't proper. It just isn't done. My bad. Why she gotta go all over town though? She could. Oh, fuck. She could just not. Oh shit. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Let's not be dumb this time. Yeah, I'm a creep. Because I'm honest, it's true, I know I'm quibbling over nothing. But being so poor weakens a person's very soul, but it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I'll never do anything like that again. What an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. Wow. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. So, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice, and good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow night, baby. Just kidding. I'm stuck. Oh no, damn it. Meant to press B to slow down, but. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Let's see. Oh. Okay, just a little bit more forward. A little bit more. Right there. What, really? It was a treasure tre treasure and it was still only 50 rupees? That is dumb. Okay. Well. What's over there? I want to see what this island is over here. Oh wait, I think that's the island I've been trying to want to go to, or wanting to try to go to. I don't remember why, I just remember that this island is like... Yeah, this is it. I just know that this island is like, always in my memory whenever I play this game. And I'm surprised I haven't been here yet. And I see another treasure. A good one, hopefully. It's got the pillar of light, so it should be. Hoi, small fry. You want information? Start by opening up your chart. Paw print aisle. Oh, it's like a kitty. Do you know what a choo choo is, small fry? I almost said my guy. No, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. I'm talking about choo-choos. <laughs> They're those slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly. Stand up and start jumping at you like crazy then when you come near them. In any case, there's lots of them on that island over there, so if you see any, I'd avoid them. They can get nasty. Now that I think about it, every once in a while I see the potion brewer who lives on Windfall Island come here. Now why would he do that, Fry? That's all the info I've got to offer, so bye-bye. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, I want to get that treasure before I go on the island.
Oh, nice. Told you it was a good one. You didn't believe me. You called me stupid. I know. <laughs> Nobody called me stupid. Not today, anyway. I don't think these can be destroyed. But I'll try anyway. Because why not? No. I cannot pick them up. Whoa! Can go in here though, somewhere. I know there's a hole. Or there should be. Yeah, there it is. Yo, I could live in here. Jelly. Yep. Holy crap. There's rubies everywhere. Not that I really need them. Although, I know the Triforce charts are expensive, so I might need them. Or I might need even more rupees than I have now, I'm not sure. Crap these guys, the red or the green ones take two hits. Oops. Oopsies. Just open the chest. Purple rupees. Rupee, rather. Boop. Wow, what a challenge. Another piece of heart. Just got one full heart, and now uh, we're already halfway to another one. And a joy pendant that I don't need. I won't complain too much, though, because you can sell them. Good. Definitely worth coming here. Let's see. We'll have to come back though. Because of that tree right there marks a significant thing that we cannot access yet. Now, let's see. Where else can we go? How much time do we have left? Hmm. Let's go to Stonewatcher Island. Uh, this one works, I guess.
Alright, which way are we going? Pretty much straight this way. I think. Is that it? No. Still this way. I think that's it. Right? Yeah, it looks like it. One green rupee. Wow. Crab. Hello. Oh my, that battery of mounted guns is a dangerous thing. If only somebody could blow the entire lot of them to bits. Such a shame that they exist, for there's something wonderful hidden there. Where? What the fuck? Tree. Move. Alright. Let's get this big sexy hunk of rock out of here. Yep. Oh, this looks fun. This looks, uh, dangerous. Oh boy. Pretty sure I'm here kind of early, but I'm, I'm here, so I might as well. come from uh that way okay so ouch statues oh, oh. <laughs> they make so weird noises Double kill. Okay. Um, guess either one works. Two down, two to go. these things. I, I love their design, but as enemies I hate them.
Oh, yeah, okay. Seems reasonable. Okay. He still doesn't even know I'm here. He's just right back to standing still. Oh, cool. Ow. Damn it. Um. Oh, I hit them both. That's good. Oh, they're gone. I need to find some fairies. Excuse me while I get money. An arrow, I guess. Whoa, I like that one. Alright. Do what we do and get out of here. Wait. Uh, okay, that, that was the wrong song. There we go. Thank you. You got a Triforce shard, and you need seven more shards to form a complete piece of the Triforce. Whoa! Nice. Not so nice. Only greens. Well, I don't really need to be collecting Triforce pieces right now, but it's nice to get a head start. Where is the boat? Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm torn with three. But Torn between doing three different things here. I'll let you decide. Do you want me to start on Do you want me to start exploring these areas that I haven't gotten charts of yet? Or should I go to the islands that are marked for progression? Or should I go here for a third option? Make your choice now. She's asleep. Well, I'm all the way over here. But I was asking you, because I don't know what I should do next. 
Should I go here to do some side stuff? Should I go to these islands that are marked? Or should I start exploring some of these areas I haven't been to yet? I want you to choose. Explore? Can do. We'll start here and hook our way up to the top. Well, that reminds me, I should probably get some more um, fish bait. Is there a beetle ship around here? I don't see one. Let's see, how much do I have? I have six. But there are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more islands to find. So we'll uh, we'll just start going, and then if I run out of berries, we'll get some more. Or if I find some beetle ships along the way, I'll buy some from them. But I see a treasure here. Why? Why do you go so fast? Yay. Alright. Uh, south. Okay, this is just a reef, but that's okay. There's treasure in there. I will make it mine. Where's the fish? I want to get the fish first. There he is. Oh, a small fry. You want information? Start by opening up your seed chart. Two eye reef. Haven't I already? F I swear I already found two eye reef somewhere else, but okay. I tell you, lately no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, fry. All anyone ever sees anymore are the big octos that might have that have been appearing lately. Maybe they scared her off. Oh no, I sure hope they didn't eat her. Okay, that's weird. I'm pretty sure there is no fairy in a reef. He might just be in the wrong spot. This is a bit more interesting. This is the first time we've ever had to fight in a reef. It's times like these, I suppose, having 99 bombs is very good. Oh wow, I'm about to die. Let me not die. Real quick. This is all I have left. Wait, how do I get... Okay, sure. How do I get up there? Oh, I see.
Oh, wait a minute. This might help. That was really close. You got a treasure chart. Okay. Where... Does it lead? Oh my god, just go to the arrow. There it is. No idea where that is. Hey, treasure! Oh yeah, it's nighttime. I forgot. The, uh... No, I can make this. Alrighty. It's a heck of a lot of treasures. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. Purple Rupee. Okay, just go right by it. Why not? There we go. Damn it, fuck. Passed it up. Now it's gonna be even harder to find. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Whoa, 50 rupees. What a surprise. Okay, do more. Purple rupee. I don't know why I still even read that. No, oh my god. I always accidentally press A when I mean to press B. Alright, the last rupee of the reef. Let's get out of here. Which way are we going? To the right. Bye. Let's see. Yeah. I think that little island right there is where we're going. Looks like it. And I'll need some of these. Thanking you. What is that island? Let me see, I'm curious. Ice ring, okay, yeah. Been there. Done that. Treasure. 50 rupees, here I come. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh! Weird. wasn't really supposed to get that because I was off at first but then it was like ah eh, whatever just give it to him Ooh, good treasure mm. 
What is that up there? Something up there. Is this a man-made island? Dun, 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 uh, three so far. Only need one more. Could we get two hearts in one stream? Could it be even possible? Where's the fish? Here we go. I guess we'll find the fish later. Right now we're gonna come up here. And um solve some puzzle, climb some hill. dead. Blue Chew Jelly. You got some Blue Chew Jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. Deep within Blue Chew Chew is a uh, gelatinous essence that is said to be a magical cure-all, but unfortunately it can't be used in its current form. Interesting. Wow, we did it. I can't believe it. Two hearts formed by pieces of heart in one stream. There's the fish. I honestly wasn't expecting that to happen, especially so soon after getting another one. Boop. Howdy. Oh, hey, small fry, you want information? Start by opening up your seat chart. Whoop, whoop. Angular Isles. Northeast of here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, Small Fry? It emits bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly it's as beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you'll have to... You'd best have a bottle to keep it in. I don't know what I would need one of those for, but okay. Thanks for the info. I'm facing the wrong direction. Alright. Yeah. Can see the next island right up ahead. Oh, I know what this is. I'm not prepared for it, though. Come back when I am. Oh, a small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. You want information? Start by opening up your C chart. Boating course. Oh, wait a minute. This is not what I thought it was, but I think we can do this now. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt L to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? I feel like I already knew that, but I completely forgot it. If you want to hear it again, you'll... Yeah, okay. I definitely knew that. Let me try that. Uh, kinda. Alright, what about this? Can we do a boat? Howdy, friend. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So what do you say, kiddo? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? What are the rules? Well, I ain't that good a talker, but here goes. Now listen up. The deal is, you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water and see how many rupees you can bring to the finish line within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you got to watch out for. The ones that float on their sides are the ones that float upright. You can get the rupees above the barrels floating on their sides just by sailing right over the barrels. 
But if you run into the barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You know you can press ZR to jump your boat, right? Yeah, well, to get the rupees over the upright barrels, you gotta jump with ZR. It's the only way. The barrels get placed out there by based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch that wind gauge behind your boat real careful, like. You can only use your regular sail in the race, none of them fancy speedy sails, you hear? Oh, and one more thing. If time runs out before you finish, you lose, so watch the timer too, will ya? Them's the rules. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? Yeah, sure. Alrighty then, go down to the starting line. I can't breathe. Three, two, one. Rupees. Oh. Oh. Alright. Gotta be a little more careful than that. Doesn't seem very hard. Not sure if I'm missing something or if it really is just as easy. Okay, well, now there's explosive barrels, which I guess adds a little bit of difficulty. I'm having kind of a hard time steering for some reason. Can I jump over two barrels at once? I sure can. I don't see how anyone could not do this within the time limit. Well, we're still going. Rupees won, 148. Seems like this dude is losing money with this game. Oh, way to be. Alrighty then, here's the 148 rupees you collected, as I promised. They're all yours. Enjoy, kiddo. Looks like you made a fortune. Come back and do it again sometime. Is that it? Okay. Get in there. Alright. Which way are we going? This way. Well, I see some things over here. Do they have a chest? Oh, hello, Octorok. I suppose I could try killing all these enemies and see. Oh, there's a chest over there. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. S don't use magic arrows. Okay. No, open the chest, please. Oh. That really wasn't worth it. Was expecting at least like 20 rupees. Or hoping for 20 rupees. Something like that. Um. Oops. Where are we going? Sort of this way. I think. Yeah. Get my bait ready.
Why do those things exist? They're so ugly and annoying. Oh, look, a tower. Land on a treasure. And I think there's a submarine over there. Wow. Something over there. Can you not pass up the treasure, please? You got a purple rupee. Where'd the tower go? Okay. I think that is definitely... a submarine that I have not been in. I think. We'll check it out and see. Bye. Bye. It was only kind of worth it just to get my magic filled up. Oh, treasure. Alright, I'm trying to like hold the button down really hard just so I can stop faster, but it doesn't work like that. They should make it work like that. The harder you push a button, the better the things do. Anybody got a chest out here? No. Then I won't bother. Just go straight in here. Oh wait, there's a chest over there. Okay. I'll get that when I come back out. Let me switch this because I don't like... My cursor keeps disappearing. Okay. Need to be able to aim. see you. I think you're slick. <laughs> Ow. Wow, that dude went flying if his thing ended up all the way over there. I just make the thing appear after I kill the monsters. I don't understand what the torches have anything to do with this. Oh my goodness, pieces of heart all day, every day. Can I put these fires out? I don't think so. That makes me curious about why, well, probably to put myself out if I was on fire. Okay. Definitely worth coming here. Maybe we'll get three new hearts in one stream. I doubt it. Hello, friend. Oh, no. Gonna sneak up behind you and take this while you're not looking. And then leave without a trace. 
Oh no. Oh. I was gonna say, oh no, he saw me, but he's just yawning. I'm like a loser. Okay, I see treasures. And birds. Lots of birds. Which could be helpful, maybe? Since I... Uh, you know, since I need bird feathers. That was interesting. You got a purple ruby. Uh, okay. Never mind. Why wow, you guys suck. <laughs> okay. You just blow them all up. That works. There's what I need. Good old feathers. Fifty rupees. Okay. As if it would ever be anything else. With 50 rupees. I see you coming. You're wrecked, son. No feather? Let's see, how about you? Too high. Too low. Too high. There we go. Feather? Feather! I hate how you have to stop to put away the cannon, but... Whatever. Where'd the fish go? He was here. I saw him. There he is. Always small fry. You want information? Start by opening up your seat chart. Five star aisles. Have you seen it, small fry? The ghost ship? Because it's real. It's even been seen here, in these very waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror arises. That's all the info I've got to offer. Okay. So which way are we going now? Gotta go north. Yeah? Oh, wait. Ooh. Okay, north then west or northwest? I don't know. North, I guess? Hey, treasure. You got a purple ruby. What is this? Well, there's certainly a lot of guards up here. Sounds to me like there could be something good up here. I'm gonna need some of this. Uh, not that. <laughs> Come on. Just, oh yeah. Just fuck my shit right. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Why? I'm in the water. How do you set me on fire in the water? 
This is bad, because... Is there three of them? Or what? There was three of them. Oh, he almost got me too. There we go. I really need to buy some potions or something. it was just the seed where are we going well it's supposed to be an island right there it is it's like a fun little island actually Boy, small fry. You want information? Start by opening up your sea chart. Cliff Plateau Isles. Hey, small fry. Do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in there is to hit a switch that's way up high in the Forest Haven. But the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the galls by hitting a little bait on your head. Putting a little bait on your head. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the sea. Can't do it if I'm hungry. The Korok here. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I can be here yet. Oh, wait. Never mind, there's a hole in the ground. If I can get to that hole, there's probably something good in there. Okay, hold on. Um, I want these rupees, if possible. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't want to get hit by those. Simple enough. Spooky. Not really worth it, in my opinion. There's a 
Korok up there, and I want to write it down. What is this place called? Cliff Plateau Isles. So I'm going to do all the Koroks probably in one stream just for fun. I don't remember. I don't think I've ever actually done the Korok stuff in this game. At least not all of them, so I don't know what the reward would be or if it's even worth it. But I guess we'll find out. Man. Do I really not have just the Forest Haven on my map? So if that's the case, I'm just going to ignore it, because I already know what it is. And I'm just going to go north. Wait. Never mind. I don't have any bait, so I have to go to the Forest Haven, because there's a beetle ship there. I'll buy more bait. Then I'll get a couple more islands, I think, but... don't have a ton of time left. Excuse me, sir. And I guess since the fish is right there, we'll get it on the map anyway. So, disregard everything I said two seconds ago. sure nine is all I'll need, right? Wrong button. Whatever. Oh, wait, one. I can't see with the big thing in my way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. We'll have one left over. The fish was here like two seconds ago. Where'd he go? Fish? There he is. Boy, small fry. You want information? Start by opening up your sea chart. Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. And what could he be doing on that lonely little isle? I'll tell you, there's some strange folk in the world, fry. There sure are. Okay, uh, northwest. That compass makes no sense to me. Oh, northeast, rather. Because we're going northeast, but neither of the points of the compass are facing northeast. can do this. There we go. You got a purple rupee. Right. I'll do... No more islands, actually. I'll go stand on the forest haven and then save the game. And then next time we'll continue filling up our sea chart and hopefully making some actual progress. I mean, technically we made some actual progress today, but not as much as I would love would have liked to. I mean. Progress is progress. We got all these islands. We got some. We got a Triforce piece. 
We got other things. Yeah, that's it. We're good. Bye-bye.